the last time tonight. And this one we always do for Wild Bill. A champion of the Collie Speedway for a number of years. A committee member and a winner of several overall points. He was an integral part of the team of members who build the concrete wall around our speedway. He was respected among the speedway fraternity. And when he left us suddenly in 2000, oh, sorry, 1995, we were left with a huge hole in our hearts, resulting in the formation of this event. And ladies and gentlemen, as they do it for Bill Simwood going four wide. Show your appreciation to the 13 production sedans in tonight's feature race. The inaugural event was raced with a mixture of street stocks and productions. But now an event purely for productions with trophies and prize money. Since his passing, this is how we've ended our season. And for the 27th season, we'll do it again. Who will edge their name on the trophy this season? Riley did it last season. He's got to do it at position number eight. Your 13 drivers will line up with Richard Nelson and Jay Cavins off your front row. Row two. Here's Kyle Blight and Barry Rose. Row three, Ricky Nuccini and Graham Rafferty. Row four is Shane Britton. And Bo Riley, row five. It's Mitch Baker and Robbie Trenderman. Wayne Livingston and Kelsey Beard will make up row six. And Pee Wee Jamie Graham back out there in car number 22. The good lucks have been given. And our final green flag is ready to wave. The Bill Sibyl production today. King of the Road is underway. Oh, it's looking very untidy at the front. But Richard Nelson has been able to hold on to that pole position. And like he needs to do, leads lap number one. All the cars chasing that top side, knowing right now it's the right place to be, but will it be? Where we've completed 40 laps, there's one car. Getting up on two wheels, that was Jake Evans. As him and Ricky Nuccini come to close quarters. Nuccini coming from the third row is up to third place. Maybe even second, but there is smoke coming out of one of our leaders' cars as they come past. There's a new Cheney, it is. Looks like a right rear tire up for the 41. And now, a change for the lead, it goes to Kai Blight. And as we kept our eyes on our battle for third on pack, Blight has been able to get past Richard Nelson. Has <laughs> charged away with it, in fact. Leads convincing already from Blight over Richard Nelson. As one car starting. Tail, that's Barry Rose, a winner of this event on multiple occasions. Won't be this time by the 181. Goes to the infield. The slope might be billowing out of the 41. 
but it's not slowing down Nucini in one bit at all. The right rear. Is he on at a very acute angle as he holds on to third spot? But he's got a pair of Collie drivers right behind him and Shane Britton as well. As Jake Evans and Bo Riley are now joined by Britton in the 88. The Sigmas aren't saying time just yet, and Britton is trying to make a case for him right now. And behind Britton is Graham Rafferty and Jamie Graham as Graham is back out there. Well, he was back out there. As he will spin out on turn number one and two and the yellows will come on. And a big dash of water. Has been left on the front straight. We're just about to say the new car boys may have just sorted themselves out. In fact, what has happened? It is a failure of all sorts. And it's Blight, Nelson, Nuccini, Jake Evans. Good run for the college drivers. Sitting third, fourth, and fifth. At this present stage with one of them on the infield of Jamie Graham. Back underway with 32 to go. Restarts really haven't been a favour of Kyle Plyce as Nelson was able to look like he was going to put an attack on. One thing's for certain though, that smoke is starting to get thicker out of the back of the 41. It's not slowing him. But it's definitely sickening to see. Is it the right rear? Who knows? As behind him is an attack now. As Riley on the inside of Jake Avens. The Avens clan will be very impressed with the younger of the brothers. Starting off the front row. But it's not been the night of the Sigmas. As Shane Britton has dramas in the gym's test and tag 88. So it looks like it comes good. And all of a sudden it decides who doesn't want to play the games. He goes back to the next to last. You call that next to last to the infield. As he goes in. And he'll be our third of our retirees. Back out here front, Blight is comfortable. Not so much is Richard Nelson as he's the next one to go to the infield. So he keeps the cars falling back. Oh, the cars behind Uchin here in a cake of smoke. How this car is still going is beyond me. But the two behind him have had enough. Blight's in another postcode. He's almost back home. He's that far ahead. The train down's a shorter distance than what the gap is between him and Uccini. As Avens and Bo Riley continue to try everything. Is it finally gone for Uccini? As he goes around, the yellows have come on. Now the question is, was there contact? It's hard to tell with the smoke. It looked like the tyre might have given out right at the time.
So Smoke still comes out. It's been a... Uh, yeah. And now the question is, has Avens and Riley been unhinged? Are the leashes off? Kai Blight, Jake Avens, Bo Riley, Graham Rafferty, Mitch Baker, Robbie Treneman, Wayne Livingston and Kelsey Beard get us away again. Twenty-five to go, and we did ask the question: Have they been unleashed? Well, they have been, but it's on each other. Blind again, proving us. Why, whatever he runs, he's a dominant force. As we're giving him a rundown. A rare mistake from car four. He ran wide out of turn number three and four. And as Leo Jake Avers back into play. Avers could see himself with the biggest scalp of his career. If he can play this right. He's right there. On blind who's making small mistakes as a car seems to run away from him. While his runs away from it, Avent and Riley are starting to come on strong. Riley now back onto the bump up of Avent. And he's got it coming from both directions. Now Avent needs to pick and choose what he's going to do. Is he going to be under the offend or the attack? Right now, all he sees is a large scalp ahead of him. Which he would love to have as we've hit race, half race distance. 20 down and 20 to go. And the Bill Civil King of the Road. So we've already set a time on it, Classic. That's in its 27th rendition. And this one is getting ever so interesting with three cars within three car lengths. One of these three, you'd have to say, is going home with the spoils. But is it going to be who we think it is? I don't think so, as there may have been some troubles with the four. And is he out of noise? Avens, straight past the outside, and Blight's got dramas. I did say something felt like it was going. And the sniff test has proven we were right. Blight the next one to withdraw. Now the door is open for Avens to run away. But can he run for a Bo Riley? And the old man of Riley would say you can run, but you can't hide. With 60 laps to go. Maybe it's now Riley to go back to back in the king of the road. He won it last season. But the car is jumping around. Like a kangaroo in the front and has it broken something. Or is it just unsettled? The two-time former Victorian champion. He's lost some ground to Avens. Lucky enough, though, time is on his side. And what's even better for him, there's a lap car ahead of Avens. Kelsey Beard played the game right, though. Got out of the way when it mattered most, but the run. How quick did he close the gap down the back straight? And just like that, Riley's back to play. 13 to go. And the king of the road. 
And Avens, who's trying to snatch the crown off O'Reilly, of has got a back bumper full of car number 40. Oh! Riley got crossed up out of turn four. Very unlucky. Not to end the way that the 40 wanted to happen. Because if it did, he would be let loose and run free. Avens isn't given what Riley wants, which is the high side. But Riley is calculated. He knows what he has to do. This time by 11 ago. And Riley is right there. Back to where he's meant to run the bottom. This is a Riley we know of. A bottom feeder. Who makes some work around the outside of him. Avent has made a mistake. There was contact. They went across the line level. Avent is trying to stick the 40 downward. Instead of trying to run his own race, he's now fallen the way that the 40 wants him to. Avis tries and fights back on the outside and gets him. Driving well above his years is Jake Avins. So we're into single digit territory now for laps. Nine laps remaining. And it's a two horse race between Avins and Riley. Ahead of him again is Kelsey Beard. Beard stayed on the top shelf. Avers now protecting the bottom. What will Riley do? He's going to stay with the bottom and just keep nitpicking at the 41 and just hope and pray that the young gun will make a mistake. There it is. A little mistake that's helped him there side by side again. What a race we've got for the king of the road. Wild Bill be watching upstairs and loving it. He'll be like him and Laurie Milani all those years back. Six laps to run. It's not a match race, but it's only two cars we're worried about. Two locals. Just like Maloney and Sybil did for the crowd all those years back. And this time it's Havens and Riley. Five to go. And it's now a car length again. But Robbie Treneman is ahead of these two. Jake Havens has been super calculated and has played the game smart. But is he going to make the right move now? With Treneman ahead of him. Treneman knows where he's going to be. Avens has played it right. But Riley tried to get the run off the corner. Two to go, in fact. Two laps remaining in the king of the road. And Avens. Has has to hold on now for one more lap. Riley's right there. Avens has got to hold on. One to go. There's contacts that go into turn number one. Does Riley fall back? No, he doesn't. Riley got to the race lead. And on the last lap, when it mattered most, Boy Riley takes out the Bill Civil King of the Road. Avens will come home in second, but a great run from him. Third place will be that of Graham Rafferty. Fourth is Mitchell Baker. We didn't even talk about any of these guys throughout that race. Next will be Wayne Livingston. And a Robbie Treneman.
We're waiting for a call because the checkered flag hasn't come out just yet. And for our race winner, as two of them have come to the line, Jake Havens has got the window net down, so too is Boy Riley. They were our drivers that finished one and two. And there has been a relegation. And we'll have a new race winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 Bill Stibble King of the Road winner is Jake Havens. You had to have the delay for suspense, but there has been a relegation. Bo Riley's been relegated two positions for a pass on car number 11 on lap 39. But give him a round of applause.